The Liquor Cabinet Radio Show. Yo, we are back with the Liquor Cabinet Radio Show. And we got Ron in the house tonight. Ron, what is your plan, Brad? It's all good. Just go ahead and uh, turn that mic on first. You know, Ron, you know what I'm saying? He had all that time over here to stop. Yeah, but didn't see it, didn't Mike was working. Right? <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 there Rome. It's Tyrone, but it's short for Jack, Rome. No, but the Jack, word, Jack, Jack the, word the word, the word, Ronan Belize means wisdom. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and uh, shit, Tyrone out here means duck, nigga, get down, police. <laughs> Tyrone. I, I don't know about that. Fuck your wife. Oh, that's that's Philly. That's Philly. This ain't really California. You know what I'm saying? He was going to though. But Ty, I got to ask you this. How come you know Ty's name is Tyrone? Yes. Ty Dollar Sign. Ty? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, T.Y. Dollar Sign. T.Y. Dollar Sign? <laughs> <laughs> what, made, what made you go with the wrong other than the Ty? Did your uh, family go with it or? Well, my daddy used to call me Ron or Ty, and then like in high school, I went to Westchester, and I was balling. He used to oh, call me Ron for short. He's, he's a pretty boy. Shout out to Westchester. Nah. He's a, he's a pretty boy, believe me. Nah, nah, nah. I went to Westchester. Huh? Oh, my God! They yeah. say it's definitely, yeah. definitely, you know, likes the Westchester guys, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Her, her and Cuddy get down all the time, all the time. <laughs> hey. <laughs> got to ask you this, brother. Like, what was your inspirations in this whole music thing? I grew up listening to Michael Jackson, you know, you had the family gatherings and shit. Yeah. And your parents be like, yo, they dance for me. So I started from that. Then I, I, started, fuck, off, I, fuck too, I started off in junior high at Horseman, writing poetry a little uh -huh. bit, getting poetry clubs. And then I was just like, you know what, man? I need a different sound for West Coast because, you know, everybody sound the same. It's getting boring and tiring. You go to the comments, people saying it. Yeah. Everybody vouching. You know, I got a people, pe couple people that's under my sleeve vouching me, so, you know. Everything's a go. Right. Real shit. So, 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 so who are you dissing these days? Who do you don't like? No, I don't diss anybody. You know, so everybody. You everybody got to eat. You just, I don't. Your fuck cousin. With, I don't, you don't like your cousin. <laughs> nah, I fuck with my cousin all day long. I just don't fuck with everybody. Wave. You know. Oh, I, right, right, I feel right. you like Aero. Yeah, like Aero. Like yeah. <laughs> all right. Good. I got to ask you this. Uh, so once you got into it, like, what like major artist that like influenced you, and like, you know, that made Rome want to be on his best. Now I listen to Michael, Otis Redding, wow. Nas, Rakim, Snoop, That's Eminem, yeah. Fabulous, a lot of yeah. Fabulous, uh, Jada Kiss, yeah. shit like that. All that makes me curious to hear his record. Definitely, definitely. got some good yeah. music in him, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I heard you talked about Michael, like I was definitely a big fan of Michael. Yeah. Uh, you Michael. remember uh, the Moonwalker tape? Yeah. You remember the, I, had, well, the I had this little... VHS, I don't know if y'all had VHS. Beta. I had this VHS yeah, beta, set, huh? and it was called. Uh, <laughs> no, I had Beta too. My grandma had it. It was called the. It's called the Moonwalk. Or some <laughs> you shit. had Beta, right? It was like. It was you like. Didn't have I don't it, right? remember. You would but that motherfucker it. was like forever. Yes. But when you play that shit, it was just like a movie. All right, so look, whole shit. It was one of the it best things ever. So it, it has a smooth real. criminal. Smooth uh, criminal, it, the nigga turned to a car, and Black Panther, all that shit. It was lemonade. Before lemonade. Got it was you. It was one, because it was like it was uh, like like Beyonce's before yes, they made it. It was it, his it, whole it. album, all his videos into one video. It was like a movie, into one movie. True. It was it a was movie. Super dope. Yeah. I was definitely like a big Mike. That's why I fuck with Mike. It's a movie. He make you understand what he's talking about. I mean, he was the first person who would have some shit like his video would debut front time. Yeah. Like at 8 30, 8 13. On channel seven and shit. Like, no, real that should have dropped at two a.m. and have thirteen hundred million views yeah, by right. noon, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Michael. You know, that's before we even have views. But you know, what I'm saying, I'm gonna go ahead and roll with you on that one. Ratings, ratings. <laughs> ratings. <laughs> I heard the only person more popular than Michael Jackson was Jesus. Really? That's what I heard. I'm not really? Really? You see where he went? I mean, see what happened? Did God tell you that? Yeah, yeah. God told no, you that? I'm just saying. Yeah. Literally, I gotta ask you this, player. What projects are you currently working on? Well, I got some shit called the Writings. Right now, I'm in contract getting some shit hosted with uh, DJ Iceberg and Ready Rail from TXL. Nice. Uh, it's just like a 15 to 16 compilation little point put together. 
Basically, what I did was put like 12 original singles and then a couple covers just getting the way ready for this next mixtape. 12 called. singles? 12 original singles, okay. original beats, and then I wrecked some other people's beats that needed it. I just want our listeners to be what I basically, what, what, what I, I needed it. What, what I basically did after <laughs> that is. Because what he was, he dropped some knowledge on y'all. Yeah, right. those <laughs> covers setting me up for my mixtape series called Playoff, and I'm gonna use Kobe for Inglewood over the whole like series, like just different playoff pictures of me wrecking beats. All right, now look, number one, we want the whole plan. We want it all laid out for us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just in case you want to steal it. And, uh, I just want our listeners to know, uh, our listeners, 12 singles. Uh, most, most people make two to three singles for their album. That's, that's and, them. And you made 12 mm. singles for your album. 12, just to get the people ready. So that's know. pure quality. Mm. Pure quality. Yes. And, uh, all right, so I got to ask you this. What number album or mixtape are you on right now? What do you mean? Like how many? Like yeah, how, like like so how much? This is it? your first one, your third one. This is my first solo one. mixtape. Like I did stuff here and there, wrote a little stuff, but other than that, this is my first like official mission, official, official mixtape, basically. Were you in a group before? I was in a couple groups, but you know, you don't talk about that no more. Nah, you don't want to say name on there. Way. All right, you get my they way. own, they own love. Oh, so it was the way. It was yes. the way. Exactly. Yeah, the love oh. hating. Oh, the way he hates. All oh, right, no, shout out the way. He definitely got, got you. Got <laughs> 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 Nah, we just fucking with you, man. Uh -huh, he man. Nah, you good, good, good. All right, so we got to ask you this, man. So the one that you got out now, you said it's the first one by yourself. Correct. And it's setting up for a whole mixtape series. Setting up for a mixtape series and then a rebound off the writings, the writings too. Wow. All right, so uh, how many tapes in total is that? That's basically two the writings projects and maybe about five or six in mixtape series. That's basically what I'm gonna do. But I got a couple like interviews to go to Def Jam, chop it up, see what's good. Mm -hmm. I got something with Epic going right now where I'm talking, mm -hmm. see what's good with that. But right now I'm just trying to make sure everything is in key, make sure everything is right, get all my royalties and everything. I'm gonna get, you know, 360. Nice, nice. So, uh, so pretty much you, you got these conversations going from prior work or from work, from future work that they, Prior work, from you. just a lot of like, just covers and stuff like that. What are your prior, what are the prior work that you did? Prior work, if you go with my Reverb Nation, I got about 29,000 fans. Uh -huh. I got a couple original singles on that, uh -huh. a couple other tracks that I did on other people's beats, and it caught a little wave. DJ oh, Charisma gave me a little love. Yeah. Uh, Snooty Wilds from Yo Gotti. Mm -hmm. um, Sebastian Telfer, uh -huh. you know who that is? Mm -hmm. NBA mm -hmm. basketball player. Uh, Got a little love extra from Missy Elliott, who uh -huh. actually retweeted something of mine. She follows me now. Oh, nice, nice. So, you know, just a little a little love out there. Nice, so, nice. And, th and this was all from uh, original work that you did. Some original work, just writing. And, yeah, I noticed that you uh, that you said that you write as well. Yeah. Uh, what artists have you wrote for? Um, I wrote for a guy named Justin. He goes by JY. He Justin got, B. Rock or Justin nah, B? No, not Justin oh, yeah. B. Yeah. JY. He got some music out. It's a new dude that's out. He was on the uh, Coca-Cola Classics. Uh -huh. Came in number two. Is but, this your blunt? Oh yeah, it's oh, good. Way, you, you go. I got another one. You know got some more right here. You know what I'm saying? A true. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Not, 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 not brought that blunt. He brought yeah. several. Yeah. He brought several yeah. blunts. Yeah. Several oh, blunts. You guys understand? Yeah. I really want to shout like you out and uh, go ahead and exalt you. Yeah. Yeah. He is exalted. You know what I'm saying? No other guest has brought his blunts. Cutie, did you teach him that word? No, don't worry about it. God taught me that word. Not, not. My son didn't teach it. Not, not Cutie's son. But you are exalted. I also want to shout out Minority. They brought us a nice bottle. So, you know, we want to keep, you know. They look at Catman Leslie people with great things, too. Yeah, that's dope. Yes. You know, that's dope. That's dope. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, so I definitely want to get into some music, though. I'm really so interested no in hearing what you got. Uh, do you have a, a specific genre that you tap into? Is it hip-hop? I know I know that you know, you're kind of from the island. And Mine, mine's is more so like... Uh, like I like street anthems, mm -hmm. a, sure, lot of, like, a, lot, a lot of like club <laughs> 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 like the street anthems, it could be like some on niggas heads or it could just be something like positive, you know, something yeah. for people to wake up, like the track I Know You I Brought You, <laughs> something to wake people up for a minute, you know, I feel you like stuff for the ladies, you know, that always keeps it going. Oh, nice, <laughs> it's nice, nice, nice for the Fates, for the Fates, and uh, I would like you to acknowledge how whipped Fates hair is right now, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and acknowledge that. Yeah, yeah. Whip it! Uh, it's it's nasty. It's all this baby boo. It's nice. No baby hair and all this shit. Yeah. Like Jesus prayed, I see. Don't even think he's gonna hear you. Can you drop his record, Frankie, please? <laughs> this is the liquor, 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 liquor cabinet radio show.